Hey, what's going on there, guys? Earthmaster here. It is February 3rd, 2018, 4 p.m. here in the West Coast and doing a daily earthquake video update here. Uh, mostly activity, like I mentioned earlier, is uh, confined over here towards the uh, Western Pacific uh, Ring of Fire section over here. Uh, a lot of activity, actually, um, within this region with numerous fours and uh, quite a few fives down here uh, towards the south. Uh, looking at the southern end of the globe here a uh, little bit of activity as well which is kind of surprising these are older earthquakes uh, from um, within the past 24 hours but uh, you can see the red pinkish colored rings there indicating uh, older earthquake activity uh, 5.2 being a more recent down there um, towards antarctica region uh, but it's not unusual not unheard of to see activity down there uh, like we've been seeing but uh, definitely new <clears throat> kind of a newer activity down there so interesting to see what type of uh, movement um, uh, will go on with this plate here yesterday we had a 4.3 off the northern California coastline um, I'll get to that here in just a second and show you exactly what is in play uh, according to that earthquake there uh, activity continues up in the Aleutian Islands region of Alaska a uh, couple threes heading off over here to the west uh, of course uh, aftershock activity will continue no doubt for uh, days if not weeks following that big earthquake they had there um, uh, quite a few days ago now <clears throat> so of course you're always going to be on alert for any kind of uh, you know, surprise earthquakes out here. It can happen at any time, guys. Uh, 4.3 off the Northern California coastline um, is, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to take you over here and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, associated with the slow slip event movement that's ongoing and has been uh, continuing for quite some time now. Um, that didn't work. Hold on one second here. Ah, okay. I think my hotkeys are messing up again. We'll just try it like that and uh, go over here and show you guys what I'm talking about. This here is the last 48 hours of slow slip trimmer detection uh, along the Cascadia subduction zone in the Pacific Northwest, uh, including California in there as well. Um, 48 hours, last two days, mostly to the south. Northern California region, you can see this crest or this line uh, right along this crest of mountains right here. That's the uh, uh, Siskiyou's. Uh, you've got the coast range over here and the northern Sierra Nevadas off here towards the east a little bit. Uh, and also a little bit of activity in central Oregon region. But uh, yeah, so most of the activity is confined to this area down here. And therefore we've seen that uh, 4.8 or 4.3 earthquake, sorry, off the northern California coastline yesterday. Uh, just off of Eureka and Arcadia region. Uh, nothing big, just uh, shows some sign of movement. And uh, it's always something, to, uh, an area to watch. I love watching that area. And, uh, you know, it's it's very concerning because that place, that area is capable of producing a massive uh, mega earthquakes if it decides to. So hopefully it doesn't for a while, but you never know, guys. It's, it's uh, Mother Nature. She can do what she wants, I guess, whether man likes it or not. 4.4 uh, over the, around the Greece region. Uh, no uptick in activity over there at the moment um looks like they had some smaller earthquake activity over here in the northeastern part of the country near well i guess it's out of the country near Sus sussex oregon uh canada <laughs> i was gonna say oregon um and that's north of the northeast of the main state of maine over here kind of over by nova scotia interesting activity up there uh, but nothing big, just some minor movement at uh, very shallow depths of two kilometers. There's that 4.3 over here along the uh, Cascadia or the uh, uh, Gorda Escapement region near the Cascadia subduction zone. Solar activity, once again, guys, is pretty quiet out there. I was checking that, that out earlier, and there is no major. Uh, sunspots, no major uh, activity predicted. Now they are saying there's a chance of some uh, minor activity uh, due to a 
a uh, section there that's going to let some wind stream in. Or some solar wind, I guess I should say. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and I posted it over here in my text link here what's, uh, what's going on there. As far as like the updated solar weather activity though. But there's really nothing to update, guys. It's kind of boring out there in the space weather department. But uh, we will keep you updated if anything does happen to pop off or, uh, you know, develop out there around the sun. But uh, it's pretty quiet. Pretty quiet activity. And that's, uh, I guess that's a good thing here. Anyway, if you guys have any uh, comments, questions uh, that I can help you with, uh, you can send me a message or it's in the comment below in the comment section. Um, or if you can't get a hold of me, go to hit, go ahead and uh, get a hold of the moderators in this chat room, and they are super quick and super awesome to uh, and more than helpful to answer any questions that they can help you with uh, in regards to any earthquake, solar, volcano weather activity around the globe. All right, guys, enjoy your weekend. Um, it's pretty warm out here in California, 81 degrees right now here in Northern California, and it's uh, it's hot. I mean, I'm tempted to turn on the air conditioner, but you know what? I <laughs> I just don't want to do that for the 1st of February. It just, it just sounds not good. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great night. Uh, Saturday night out there. Be safe. As always, we'll catch you later. Peace.